<laughs> a side effect of Rollo Tomasi embarrassing the manosphere is it brought our friend MLD out of hiding. And remember, he's the guy that wanted to fight me at Hot Dude Con. All right, let's get Cult of Black Phillip on here. How's it going? Morpheus, can you hear me? Hey, is it what's going on, buddy? Hello. Hey. How's it going, dude? Hey, so you glad I was up early and I caught your show. Is you... that guy just there? Was that guy that was just on the phone right now? Does, is he on your consultation? Does, was he paying for that phone call just now? What was that? Dude, are you missing a chromosome? <laughs> the name of the today's show is Free Consultation Friday. I'm asking, does that guy pay for consultation? Is he on your thing? Is that the type of advice you give? Because you just told him to go to another man and pay him for consultation. That was your advice. And pay for it. Right. So how is this guy who's having trouble with his bitch or whatever, how is he supposed to make any headway with girls when he's going from dude to dude to dude, paying them money for them to tell them what he wants to hear? You, you spit this game, right? You make money telling other dudes how to get bitches, right? Explain yourself. So... The problem with him... Nothing. You've got nothing to say, bro. You're a bitch. <laughs> You've got nothing to say. You're a complete on the side of the freeway begging for change bum, bro. That's what you are. Okay. I'll tell you one thing. First of all, you wouldn't talk like that to my face, okay? Because you're not a real man like me, all right? You couldn't say that shit face-to-face to me. And if you think you will, come on down to Hot Dude Con. Come to Miami. I'm going to be there June 12th. We'll talk man-to-man. Save up your fucking food stamps, get on a Greyhound, and come on down. All right? We'll see how fucking tough you are in real life, bitch. <laughs> well, let's check in with MLD. This is what our new favorite cuck, Destiny, has to say about MLD. Who would you rate as the most insufferable person in the manosphere? There's a guy recently called MLD. The thing that drives me the craziest, and it's going to be more extreme in these spaces because these guys are supposed to be the alpha men. I don't like it when people have one type of energy online. Come in real life, they have a totally different type of energy, especially when they do that with women. So I was in front of MLD on the Whatever podcast, and this guy is like, oh, Destiny's so cool. He's the true red pill guy. He's like, he lives his own life. But then yesterday, when I'm not there, he's on a show with my wife, and she starts speaking. He's like, oh, this is a Destiny debate tactic. Of course, she'd say that she's destiny's wife i was like well why didn't you say this to me when i was in front of you now in front of all the women who are roasting the out of this clown rightfully so now he's got all this energy for them he ends up getting called up on stage he gets dressed down like a child and he scampers off stage like he's going looking for the ring the next day he's on another podcast saying like oh yeah when i was on that stage i was saying she was a fat i told her to her face but if you actually watch the show she was like what did you call me in chat and his response was like i don't know what did i say i don't really remember typing anything oh my god that difference drives me insane you know, when you when you clip up my uh my proposal for Rolo, I want some very intense trap music behind it. <laughs> I, I want it to build to a fever pitch. Everything we make has to have the the alpha male sigma grind set memes behind it. Even if you have blue hair and dress like a <laughs> and dress like the the uh, ancient aliens guy with the fucking Joker suit and fro hair. So which one wanted to fight you? The the fat no, guy know, in a suit that I was think, too big? I think I think MLD paid Destiny ten grand to uh make this whole deba- debacle happen because how do you go from uh having ten live streamers at nine o'clock PM like two years ago to Destiny, like one of the biggest YouTubers, like having your name in his mouth? That'd be like me waking up and being like Destiny being like, Yeah, you know that gay guitar guy, he's like a f it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let's finish it up with the uh, monkey in a suit uh, who threatened to beat up <laughs> uh, Sanji at ManFest. This is, again, he's getting called out for doing doing a little bit of trolling. We he's do a little hanging, bit of trolling in the Manosphere, guys. He's hanging out with Jarva. <laughs> She's there to sell her paintings. Yeah, Jar- well said, Jarva MLD. And, uh, last ta- last take. Reaper I there. don't want a traumatized woman in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want any history of trauma. I have dealt with those kind of fucking nutbags, and I don't ever want to deal with it ever again. I want to deal with a normal, Joker. Pause stable, for a second. healthy Any, for, woman. Anything you want, Joker. <laughs> <laughs> anything you want, Joker. <laughs> 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 he does look like a henchman. <laughs> <laughs> this is shitty comedy. 
Mark. Whatever you say, boss. Right away, boss. <laughs> no <one's, laughs> well, no one's laughing now. <laughs> if it wasn't for bad luck, I wouldn't have no luck at all. <laughs> <laughs> Little boy blue. <laughs> <laughs> Hickory dickory duck. <laughs> Sucked in my we... tummy, now I see my cock. I'm sure it's like, definitely dumb as and find out that I'm gay yet. I'm sure she'll Little find boy out. blue, I'm Mexican. Oh. <laughs> if we're looking at uh, body language, uh, despite the fact that these guys are sitting in like you know Professor X's fucking war room, <laughs> I don't I don't know why. Uh, conversation with women is being had you know in the fucking <laughs> cnn war room uh but none of the young oh, ladies yeah? oh yeah would a high value male do this you might rabbit you might <laughs> <laughs> this, this nigga is 80 percent torso 10 percent head and like five percent <laughs> pressure and power and will two percent manosphere and pain <laughs> you know give me a second i'm gonna pull up a picture he looks like deadpool when he has toddler legs <laughs> What's this guy's name again? Um, modern life dating. Old toddler legs. Modern life dating. You know what? This guy. I want to picture looks, him on a tricycle. Uh, don't call him toddler uh, life dating. That's not. That's not nice. We don't need like to. A, a guy that's been to about a thousand gay baths house as and after like a straight guy. That's what he looks like. Like he looks like he's Kenny knows. That. That's oh right. my god, this is perfect. <laughs> you guys aren't gonna believe how perfect this picture. Imagine him, you know, at the playground. <laughs> He's three. <laughs> He's like, bitch, you giving away your kisses? <laughs> Fucking butters <laughs> over here. Then she goes, I give them to you, but you were uh, kind of kissing that guy over there like t- five minutes ago. <laughs> All right, uh, if you go to show prep, I have a picture of uh, him when he takes <laughs> the suit and wig off. <laughs> when he demasked uh, like a uh, fucking Darth Vader, what? it would be hacky to make this joke if his oh, body wasn't so geez. misshapen. See, I, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> that hair did not look real completely to me. I had a feeling. Like, hey guys, modern, <laughs> modern yeah, life toddler funny. here. <laughs> it's giving him wiggly. too much credit. He wishes he was that skinny. He looks very wiggly. Do you have, do you have a high value mom? <laughs> Where's your high value mom? Yeah. <laughs> Where is she? Where's your high value mom? What is that? Um, I don't remember the Rick and Morty episode. It's like, hey, I'm baby legs. It's like a little <laughs> baby legs. It's like a detective. Yeah. Imagine he gets uh, leg I'm regular legs. Imagine he gets yeah. leg implants after hearing this. He's like, fucking yeah. he's, he's got robotic becomes, legs. Okay, in yeah, he, he goes full cyborg. He's going to ask for enough Manosphere donations until he's the Terminator. He's going to come back in time and kill all of us for making fun of him. Don't do this. So until, if, until, if you want to go to show prep again. <laughs> until then, he's going to be stapling red rib- ribeye to his legs, you know, when he wears I, pants and shit. I, <laughs> I have a picture of him uh, trying to get back across the border. Uh, after his <laughs> Brazilian liposuction. <laughs> oh, we're going to need some photo shots after this. <laughs> the new adventures of baby legs. <laughs> what has he gotten himself into this week? <laughs> baby legs detective. What is he going to do? How next? does it feel to be. Uh, what? How do you say? Question? Not question. Like he he, he said that he would uh, beat to right. He said that he would challenge you. He wants his me to meet him at Hot Dude Con and we can fight. Yeah. <laughs> That's a guy. How does it feel like that guy <laughs> with those baby legs? <laughs> How does it feel to to be challenged by that <laughs> kind of? I'm regular legs, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> So, so the suit guy is is, is his arch nemesis. <laughs> he needs a booster seat at GuyCon. <laughs> <laughs> He's got one of those Pizza Hut <laughs> fucking Minecraft. Okay, man, you gotta give me a link next time. You, I gotta find out when that guy's go live. Or so I can go oh, live. Um, he has wheelchair Saturday. body. Every Saturday <laughs> night, he does a live stream called the Dude Party, and me and Jinx were waiting fever feverishly last night. In hopes of the dude party starting, and it never happened. He hasn't gone oh. live since this podcast we're about to watch. 
his, <laughs> his open I'll palm. Wait. I'll wait yeah. next week. I'll be like, oh, yeah. if he goes live, I'll be like, <laughs> his toast his, after that on his toast. His open palm shows that he means no harm. <laughs> He's not here to hurt anybody. Uh-huh. But his his thumb uh-huh. to index finger is three snaps that he has in the chamber. <laughs> I, I'm not here to hurt you, bitches, but I will. How short is this guy? We'd have to do some research, Kenny, but short enough for me to think he's baby legs. <laughs> Imagine buying your clothes in two different age groups. Because <laughs> I'll have a men's jacket and a toddler's trouser. <laughs> Normal? Exactly. In what sense? <laughs> Hold on a second. Hold on a second. He's so embarrassed. He buys two of everything, so he's got an entire closet <laughs> full of grown, grown, <laughs> regular legs pants and toddler body. <laughs> let's give baby legs a chance now. Baby legs is gonna stand up for himself, guys. So let's stop bullying him. He, he, he's up All against right. a ninety-pound woman. <laughs> guys, let's let's give him the benefit of the doubt. He's got well this. Said. MLD, last ta- last take. I don't want a traumatized woman in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want any history of trauma. I have dealt with those kind of fucking nutbags, and I don't ever want to deal with it ever again. I want to deal with a normal, mentally stable, healthy woman. So and You think you're normal? Exactly. In, in what yeah. sense? Well, do you think you have healthy habits? Yeah. <laughs> do you think yeah. you have adult yeah. legs? Were you just saying <laughs> about, like, fat shame like, last week or so? Ooh. <laughs> I, I love that she's stunned on him by she brought those big old legs out. <laughs> you think you have bigger calves than me? <laughs> Holy shit. You can make three MLDs out of her legs. legs <laughs> <laughs> can kick his legs ass. You think that's normal from a man, from a stranger to stranger to fat shame somebody? I don't remember. Did I call you fat? Oh, don't do that. You know where you were in the chat. <laughs> You knew you were in the chat. Don't don't do that. Boo, his own don't producer. Know. Don't do that. Don't do what? Don't do that, MLD, you because you were in the <laughs> chat with your checkmark name doing that. What so, was I oh, saying? No, listen, doing it's your okay checkmark you thing. Wanna... So, so, Ian, to set the stage legs. for you. <laughs> to set the stage for you, Ian. This is one of the now many shows that are like, hey, I really liked Black Phillip. And they have a guy who I guess has a trust fund and put a lot of his money into podcast equipment. And he has 10 to 12 women come on at a time and then brings on red pill guys to try to make viral clips of like exposing them as dumb bimbos. I I don't know who this man is, but I love him. So (laughs) so, producer. ML MLD puts him books himself on this show as the guy and hits him versus seven girls that probably six of them do OnlyFans. And just <laughs> by the odds of rolling the dice and the convergence, he just so happened to randomly be in one of the girls' chats calling him a fat pig <laughs> a couple <laughs> nights before. And he did not realize it until right now. <laughs> yeah. he's just now catching up to where she's been for at least an hour and 50 minutes of this <laughs> podcast she's been waiting for the opportunity to bring this up it was at this very oh. moment anyway. oh man all up and there the black, in your check mark face check was mark not place. happy with him <laughs> you that with your fucking baby legs this, girl, I mean, this girl's about to clap her hands on us. <laughs> this is set up like a firing squad. <laughs> the only thing that's missing is he should have been in the middle with like an apple in his mouth. But, but in, in the day of wokeness, Ian, isn't this what this guy should be ready for? He Isn't he going on yeah. every one of these podcasts hoping that it's mm-hmm. going to become about him and give him his opportunity to... So you would think, <laughs> right... Make, what what yeah. would he what would be the alpha thing to do in this moment to lean into it and be like well bitch i wasn't trying to hurt your feelings but you're kind of fat since you brought it up i wasn't <laughs> oh, gonna say anything no. uh, since you brought it up like you you are a little overweight and, I, and, and oh, you know, no, 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 no. i get a little saucy uh, sometimes on the keyboard it's all jokes though i mean i'm fat too <laughs> he could he could play his way out of this at least, right at least uh, <laughs> you, you, you fat shaming when you got the fucking baby legs. I'm leg shaming you. Uh, I'll tell you how my friend Roanoa Rex would have handled this situation. Yeah. Because Roanoa believes that scars on a man's back 
are a warrior's shame. And had this bitch had the audacity to step to his trifling ass, his answer would have been, Moo, <laughs> moo, you fat pig. I would have, I would have completely changed my whole opinion on him if he just started mooing her in the middle of the oh. podcast. <laughs> I'm like, you know what, guys? We were wrong about MLD. <laughs> He's actually really fucking based. Somebody somebody send this clip to the fat bitch and tell her <laughs> straw hat fappy said it. <laughs> tell her I'd like to be the next guest on the view. Chat with your check mark name doing that. What so was I saying? Up, hey, listen, it's okay if you want to do those things, yeah. but own up to what you do. What was I saying? I mean, women Ooh. are apparently like CEO of not taking accountability, but I mean, I guess you should change your pronouns because I'd say you're kind of in the same bracket when it comes to that. <gasps> All right, I'll get right on that. And that's not masculine energy. Ooh. Just masculine saying. energy. Right, I remember, remember. remember I told you that. So what Don't call say. people horse either. <laughs> I'm just saying, I mean, yeah. I, women can't handle criticism. I took that like a champ. That's fine. Mm -hmm. I'll take that. But I think you yourself as a man should probably work on that. Instead of saying oh, that I don't want to traumatize women, because it definitely shows that I don't you want to. I don't want to traumatize. Women. We don't want to traumatize men either. That's the thing. So okay. that's why it's easier to go to Japan and find the Konnichiwa type of girl because Ooh. they're not going to debate with you. That's the problem. That's Ooh. right. They're just robotic female slaves in Japan. They have no personalities. It they shows. just say ko Konnichiwa. Yeah, sumisa, so all that shit that you like. It, it's it's evident that you're Damn. used to women who just check you when you're being irrational Thanks. and way out of place. Th Thanks for the whole synopsis on the 37 years of my it life. It shows. You've, uh, well, you've it really right doesn't mean to a lot of half. people. It shows like you could be. My grandma's 80 years old and still drives like shit. It doesn't matter how old you are. So I would have to say, you sound like somebody who really looks down on women with the way that. I mean, you even made a whole hit piece on that. I think that's weird. I didn't make a hit piece on her. This guy, you should really change your pronouns because I could see that's not your best best trait to actually own up to what you do. And I think that's really disgusting. Why don't Is you? She just repeat a line. Energy? Yeah. <laughs> her legs are pointed pointed toward the <laughs> the adult legs. <laughs> she did repeat a line, Ian, but I don't even think this sassy lady over here thought she was going to get as much interrupted speaking time as she did. So she started <laughs> she started kind of running out of material. She was yeah. she was expecting more of a pushback than she got. <laughs> so, 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 so what else is Oh, you heard of this? You heard of this? Yeah, I uh, guess uh, you got me. I guess I'm a fucking loser with no fucking accountability, right? Uh, yeah, and you're uh, ugly. Like she, she really I wasn't. Guess, she wasn't. No guess, one was expecting was them to just to roll with the punches. Her. I guess he was yeah. trying to email her. Like, yeah, you're right. I do fuck pedophile Asian girls in Japan. I do. This is one of those movies where, like, <laughs> the kid finally works up the courage to like uh, confront his bully. <laughs> he just like lightly shoves him back, and the kid's like. Ooh! <laughs> this, this is this is how eight miles should have happened when eminem was like i am a trailer park trash fan. and then the black guy's like yeah dumbass that's what i said stupid ass cracker <laughs> fuck you what the fuck i thought now imagine how lit it would have been if he had stood up and said give me a beat <laughs> and then he just dropped some bars on these stinking ass hoes <laughs> There's blood in the water now. So now uh, all of these other girls, who, by the way, I don't think most of these girls are related to each other. They're all just random OnlyFans people. So yeah. now they're all going to start stomping him out on the curb because they see that he's weak. Run your pockets. <laughs> he's now uh, getting kicked down the prison system. <laughs> <laughs> And maybe just the point. just about for to kick him said. down three slides. That's I right. think that that's very masculine. I think that's a great way because I feel like number one in a war, everyone thinks they're right, right? Yes. So I think that right now is a great so opportunity for you to show that men can be masculine and have feelings oh, and can also God. regress God. and think back about what they said. Maybe in the moment you said it because you got excited oh, or whatever, and you were just in in this phase of yours but i think sitting here in front of her you're talking about that you want this wife and this submissive person and all of this but where's your respect towards women yeah why, yeah. why are they standing percent respect <laughs> <laughs> why are they standing in front of a cauldron <laughs> is, is, is this the wicked witches of eastwick <laughs> this is that that disney plus movie no this the is halloween like, bitches like I said, the guy that does this podcast, he has like five different podcasts, and this is his studio. Like one's about money, one's about relationships, and yeah, he just books. He just fills it full of guests and tries to get stuff like this to happen. 
It's like one of those Asian like uh, shell buildings where it's like, oh, today we're a nail salon. Oh, we sell burgers now. And oh, you know, it's just like, right. oh, today we're Red Pill. Oh, today we're late only, night talk uh, show. Fan, uh, late night talk That's show. right. Yeah. Don't you run like an entire so male nice empowerment her. thing? Like, I think that's important that people look up to you. And you know what's funny? I actually subscribed to you prior to you doing that. I thought that was so out of pocket. And I was like, mm -hmm. wow, like people like you. I actually like, like to you. anyone that's listening. This is why I stepped out of the red pill space because you guys are so quick to demonize women in the West. But mind you, all of these girls have been working since we were old enough Demon. to work. A lot of us have to retire our families. But instead of people seeing that, you guys demonize women for masculine traits when we're also working just like you. And we, did, I mean, I don't expect respect, but like there was no beef and it was so unnecessary. And I think it's, I mean, that's accountability that some people should take, but to each their own. Yes. Just saying. Is, what you, is, so what you is she Asian? I believe she is. is. Yeah, she looks Asian. <laughs> okay. she, she, she's not a walk. She's a gallop. <laughs> and she's fucking hot. Big tits. Nice wags. Let me say this, you thick, juicy bitch. You try pulling that homework on me. All right? <laughs> All right, Lisa Simpson. How about you have me on the show and dress me down? Do you remember that one time you <laughs> called me fat? No. Do you remember that one no time you called me fat? No, you. <laughs> yeah. No, that bitch. No, it's like uh, it's like wait. That bitch. That's right. So yeah, I, I called I like a hundred Asian yeah. girls fat last week. Like, which one are you again? I, I yeah, I yeah. <laughs> which one? Yeah. Hey, your yeah. twinkle toes, seventy four. I had didn't even realize. Damn. Now that I'm looking at you in person, uh... isn't there some slick Kanye line about <laughs> it's like dropping my name? You know, as a headline, dropping your name is you're just another fat Asian bitch to me. Ooh, okay. But see, this is really where these guys like they really are just they're like simps. They're like losers com compared yeah. to like Patrice. Cause like they won't even lean into a little bit and be like, ah, you got me. I be calling bitches fat sometime. My bad. Did you look kind of cute though? I got, I didn't oh, even mean it like yeah. that. Yeah. Like they won't Dude. even try to no. turn it around. But I'm you know sure what I mean? I've done that, you know, man. And like Patrice would fight try. with girls on the radio and be like, ah, well, take your pants off. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> as so degrading and disrespectful as they can get. Like, these girls are getting such easy opposition, you know what I mean, <laughs> compared to Patrice. And these guys really think that they're, like, giving it. They're showing the, the women that men can still be men. And they can barely even handle a little bit of, so what, you just walk around calling women fat? You think that makes you a man? Uh, uh, yes. Uh, uh, I gotta go. You know? <laughs> yes, they, they, they can't handle that. This, this was the level totally. two. Like, if you're playing Street Fighter, this is the second level. Like, you should be able to get past this level. Like, they, it's not uh, that hard yeah. yet. God, they like to know. make fun of They're stuck modern... on that level. <laughs> They like to make fun of modern cinema for having these Mary Sue women who grow up and have no opposition in their life and then become greater than the greatest warrior and easily defeat the most ruthless villain. But we're seeing a real life version of that. This is Wonder Woman. <laughs> this this is Ironheart. All right. These are no, this, this is, is Marvel's generation. <laughs> this is fat guys. Jing's being empowered by this, okay? Stop whining. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta beautiful. say, actually, as funny as it is to call a girl fat, I would not have any problem sticking it in any of three of these girls. So, Let's I just... would want that Asian bitch down. <laughs> you know, that, that's what I think would her do, the you most. Know? Yeah, if she was in my face, I'd be like, I love you. I don't, I don't know. I'm sorry. What? Yeah, I only called you fat because I, I see I got this thing where I tease girls when I have a crush on them. <laughs> <I'm> just... <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, just what to see, at. just throw it out there. You know what, Nagy is? Man. You spent 10,000 hours same on thing. reading Manosphere shit. So. Game. No, I you know, you know what, uh, when, when you guys are clipping this up, let let Lucy Moo know. <laughs> Just because I'm saying I'd throw Angela you Angela Knight. <laughs> Lucy Moo. <laughs> uh, let old Bessie know. Just because I'd give you the dick doesn't mean I'm going to go down easy. <laughs> doesn't mean you don't have to fight me, bitch. You want your respect? Come take it from me. <laughs> All right. So you should have done that. We got we got the 
the dagger stare right now. This is the show your cards. <laughs> what do you got? <laughs> we showed ours. <laughs> what, what's coming? So now let's see how good old MOD responds well, to this. Good the rumble's going, man. Yes, Kenny. Just saying. What are you, so what are you upset that I called you fat? Is this is upset. I mean, this is cle upset. Clearly. This is addressing. Well, why I think don't you want to own up to what she said, though? Why what are you was it? What was it that was said? And, and, and if anything, we're kind of built the same, which is funny, dude. We're like, I mean, come oh, on, man. No, you can't no, be sitting there acting no, like no. we're like, oh. No, and I'm no. like, dude, honestly, that's so out of pocket in so many ways. Way well, how about this? Yeah. yeah I, this came out of left field, but I don't know. I'm like tuned in right now. Like, <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't know this was going to happen on my show, but here we go. Let him own up to what was said and let him clear the room. If we misinterpreted, if we didn't understand, let him clear the air. Hold on. Don't, don't his legs look tiny too? Is that is there some sort of fisheye lens going on? Is this a cockspiracy? Let's take a look at his legs. Shrink the dicks. I gotta find the other guy. What do we got? One fifty. It's like the movie Twins. <laughs> they both have toddler legs. He has. He has. He's Danny legs. DeVito. <laughs> That's like a podcaster thing. Is where is like small legs and like real tight pants. Like these guys. Don't understand. They're not like nineteen-year-old kids. They're not supposed to be wearing these kinds of pants. <laughs> it's not cringe to look like Vanilla Ice. Brandon Bagayer. Right. I would kill myself if I asked for that haircut. <laughs> it's just the next time I caught sight of a mirror, and then he's got Pee Wee Herman's fucking suit on. I'm I like her. She could be president. Let me just host a show for a second. <laughs> You're upset. Wait, 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 wait. This is, this is the third Brennan, heel Brennan. <laughs> you know what, dude? <laughs> I think it. You see, this is where you guys excel at comedy, making fun of those manosphere fucking. Yeah, we got the Kenny Seal. That's great, man. <laughs> I was going to go smoke, but you know what? I can hurt my bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. I, I think wait, that, wait, listen, wait, listen criticism, sure, but be real and own up to whatever mistake you make. Because yes. again, you are okay. leading whatever. Well, wait, what you did are. I say? What is so upsetting? I don't know. I don't get it. Why did you is, talk is to this, me? Is this chick supposed to be attractive? Why, why you do you... all this content and you comment all these things, but you don't remember what you do, but you have all the comments to be made. No, it's okay. I'll just endure this like I should in an abusive relationship. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so MOD, what do you think of your ex husband? I'm still waiting for him. Like, I don't get Hold it. Up. What was said that made <laughs> let Lulu, let Moo Moo Lemon <laughs> try that chip with J King. <laughs> Bitch, I am not your ex husband. <laughs> <laughs> You so upset. This is the this is the problem. So if if we reverse the roles, if a woman addressed this, you like, you're just being not, emotional. Not gonna answer the question. There is nothing. I've why said don't it you like answer five the times. question? I'm asking the question. Well, what, why are you so mad? This is she's mad? already said it. Because <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you mean? He's he said, you're saying it. that he called you fat and you're dressed. <laughs> Hold on for a second. Accountability for it. Why why are these hoes dressed like five different mannequins? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm walking through the mall right now. The the, the, the answer is in the question. Hoes, Ian. Hoes. Yeah. The, first, the, the first one is Moomies. <laughs> the second one is uh, uh, Dark Spice Forever 31. <laughs> they use their only fans to buy their underwear on the fucking mannequin. That's why they look like that. Yeah. The third one is, is a prom. Trying too hard spice. <laughs> trying too hard spice. Uh, the middle one's Annie down. Lederman in disguise. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> the middle one is Sloppy Topic. <laughs> she's the one that she's a real life Harley Quinn. <laughs> she thinks she's a, what do they call it? A manic pixie chick. Uh, I believe it's pronounced pixie. bipolar. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm like, oh my bad. I was probably just she's talking on about Hennessy. women that they have to do X, Y, and Z, and all this that this what they have to do, yeah. and you shouldn't, you know treat women badly because they have to submit to you and in Tokyo or whatever they're so feminine and this and that but it's here you come here and when there's women are making valid points and there are respectable women you come in the chat and you fat shame Your or you go shrivels. and make pieces about people or whatever it is that you want to do at the end of the day, all that's being said is that, listen, if you're going to do those things, own up to it and then make your point about it. If you're going to do these things and you're not going to own up to it, Pause. and you're, then, then what's the point? You're just what? Bullying people? What's like, up with, like, there's no integrity in what...
<laughs> this is three he hoes. He got integrity. <laughs> this is three hoes trying to say, you pussy, you scared. I can hear your heart beat. Why are you such a bitch? <laughs> That's what they're trying to say. I, they're saying it in yeah, the nicest way possible because exactly. they're hoes. Yeah. But why are you such a bitch, dude? <laughs> The, the race, man, why are you being a beta, beta? Right. Quick being a keyboard warrior. I'm right here. Say it with your chest. Yeah, toddler panties. <laughs> what you stand on. Like, you, nowadays, like, you're running a space where men stand on principles and honor, but, like, you see someone's face and you completely dismiss the fact that that was disgusting. I would hate it like, if disgusting. Was We're like, not like, in we have the same body. body. I'd be like, cunt, let's do push-ups right now. I can squat <laughs> so much more than you, cunt. I hate you, you stupid bitch. You could train for 20 years and you'll never be as strong, strong as me. Okay, I think I know how this ends. He's never going to go yeah, so small. It, it, imagine, <laughs> it ends like this. Imagine getting checked by a fat bitch. Yeah, really. <laughs> the fact that you say oh, how? Kind of ended. He hasn't won this fight at all. No, he, he, he's losing like ninety percent to like ten. Oh, maybe. Man, I wish like, a fat girl gave me more than that. Dude. Imagine for a second, if you will, Ian, I was you and Mersh just coincidentally get booked on the same podcast. Oh, by that would be... If you imagine, hoes are listening, imagine you're sitting there for an hour and 50 minutes and you don't address Mersh at all. And then an hour, <laughs> one hour and 51 minutes, Mersh turns to you in the middle of a live stream and goes, so, uh, Ian, are you just going to sit there and be a little pussy? Or are you going to talk about all that shit that you said over the last three years? Are you going to pretend I didn't remember that? <laughs> hey, what are you talking about, Mersh? <laughs> what? I never, another guy runs that account. I don't even make those videos. We're trying to we're trying to do a chat show here, and you're bringing up old shit. Is your pussy hurt? Is yeah, that, is, yeah, are you mad? Are you mad, bro? Cry about something? What the fuck are you talking about? I don't even remember you. <laughs> anyway, I mean, if you hoes are listening, Mersh should be on the show with me. If you want some views <laughs> between Mersh's hate views and my dressing you down and putting you in your motherfucking place, <laughs> this will be your most viewed episode. I'm the guy who's about to cut Rolo Tomasi's head off. I will, Google I me, bitch. Could. Book you on these podcasts is you have to go to Florida or Las Vegas, Ian. I, I got vacation. <laughs> I got time. <laughs> I ain't scared of these hoes. I don't know take, you. Take, take a vacation to Florida and Vegas. Yes. I'll, I'll tell you Ian this. Vegas and Florida. That's right. All right. I'll fight. Ahead. I'll fight you. I'll fight you, bitches, on the cult of Black Phillip. <laughs> Live. <laughs> you got something to say? You got something to say to the cult? Huh? You got something to say to Big Mama Pride? Yeah, All that right. I have is yours. Just come take it. Damn, yeah. can, 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 we, can we can we see if we can rent? Can, 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 can we see? Can, yeah, can, can, can we can, can we can we can we can we see if we can rent the studio and do with apologies in there? You know, have the same this. studio. Have me and Helen <laughs> and you know. Imagine and, how dope it would be. They book me and I just fly all of you out there and just slowly you come out and uh, sit next to the women and we turn it into with apologies. <laughs> we just oh ig God. ignore them and allow them to sit there and laugh. No, we won't like. Fat girls, they're like really ugly, like you know, just like Walmart employees yeah. and shit. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna show up with two sloppy bitches, <laughs> the two sloppiest <laughs> bitches I can find. <laughs> I'm gonna sit there and call you bitches fat all day. <laughs> all these ugly assholes rub on my shoulders. How about that part? <laughs> uh, yeah, <that's> <laughs> what the fuck does your Twitter handle have to say to that? All right. It wasn't like I've said something to you. I said anything to you. I've stepped out of the combative space of the red pill stuff because of guys like you. And you you prove my Ooh. point to it. It's like, I don't know you. You don't have to do that. And that's fine. Mm -hmm. It's fine if I said that like, you're not my preference. I've never attacked you <laughs> Thanks before. for giving me permission. Again, I'm still waiting for what made you upset. It's okay. Right now, we're going to call you the delusional girl. All right. How about I just, yeah. we can just stick <laughs> to that? just leave? Because this is retarded. No, I will. Why would you leave, You're, you're upset. They are. Let's you, let's, you, Hold on, they they are going to try to on, fight. Ian. Let's get Ian. down the business. <laughs> <laughs> he just he just said, "Well, fine. If you guys don't like me, then I'm just gonna leave. I'm gonna take yeah. my ball and go home. <laughs> Wanna be I the see where Sigma I'm male, wanted. like no Chad ever was. Defeat Bro, these hoes. <laughs> <laughs> you can. Defeat yeah. such a beta that they call you a girl because you have toddler legs. Can you, right. can you ban? Can anybody what is this that from? Yeah. <laughs> I thought he was I, a gay guy. A gay, a gay guy. A gay guy. A gay and guy. he dresses like chimpanzee. <laughs> a monkey in a suit. 
you've got toddler legs, toddler legs, toddler legs. Other legs. Like Deadpool is a child. Right, you've probably been other legs. That's over that I am. I, I do think they're kind of trying to steal from Annie Lederman and they're like, we're not going to say his name, even though they're dressing him down. In pro- we're not going to drop the comments. We're just going to say cry, baby. You well, know, wink, on, wink. Yeah. We've been talking about this for weeks. Well, hold on. Hey, get, there's there's more. There's receipts coming. I'm waiting for what made you upset. It's okay. Right now, we're going to call you the delusional girl. All right. How about I just, <laughs> we can just stick you to that. just leave? Because this is retarded. No, I will. Why would you leave, you're, you're upset. Why because, would you leave? Wait, wait, let's, you, let's, you literally are. You're an example Can for somebody men. tell me what you're I said that everybody's so upset men. about that I'm still waiting on? Content. What was you the said you would fight Just I'll, to be clear. I'll do the three. Was it three? I'm pretty sure it was. Is this chick supposed to be attractive? One. Two. She's 40 pounds too heavy. Yep. X Y Z something about weight. Uh, I wouldn't listen to her. Like you just went on a rant. It was like. How do you know? This is Sanji and his army of fucking OnlyFans. <laughs> you know, this is all your bitches. Show. You said you were gonna fight Sanji. You said you were gonna fight Black Legs. You yeah. said you were gonna fight him at Manfest. <laughs> yeah. What's up? Manfest. I am on the lookout for girls that have been on these podcasts, but I haven't run into one yet that I know I of. Just, I just want you bitches to know that uh, if you do have me on your show, I can boost your OnlyFans. I can introduce you to an OnlyFans manager. He gets the job. This is yeah. not a $5 million CoffeeZilla scheme. Rocky, <laughs> he gets Rocky, results. I never, Rocky, I never had a manager. That's right. <laughs> he knows what part of your body men want to see. Who's that? All of it. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the guy? Who's the guy? I know that that was him, though. Because it was his name with the check mark in the chat. Do you recall doing that? I guess so. So uh, okay, you're so mad. Okay. You're, 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 you're mad because I said you're four you pounds overweight. I'm <laughs> on every chat. I'm in fresh and fit. You know how it is when you're a streamer. You're in all these chats. I'm on fresh like and fit. Sh- I'm in all the chats. I, I pay. Sad. I pay to go on all these shows. <laughs> I, don't... I, pay hey, I, I, I pay to go on all these shows. I pay to fight Sneeko. I, I I've paid a lot to manufacture some clout. So you better give me some respect, lady. Imagine Lady, I have 4,000 Twitter followers. You think I'm out here as a joke? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, exactly. he has such a manufactured personality that there is some manager behind him just sending him links. Just, just go call them fat. <laughs> you have to, you have a quota. You have to go call five bitches there's, fat. Tonight. There's, a, there's yeah. a bell end in his Discord that's just like, bro, you got to go here and fucking call these girls fat bitches. And then he goes on the podcast and they're like, do you remember <laughs> when you? And he's like, oh, shit. Yeah, this, guy, this guy is a fucking puppet. That's what it is. I did have a, a, <laughs> a similar situation in real life where uh, my friend Leroy was banned from the comedy shrine because... Uh, he brought on a comic and he high fived her, and then he pretended to bring his arm around and slap her butt. He didn't actually make content, but she felt like she would had been violated oh. <laughs> by his comedic act. And then, like a week later, I had a gig and I brought him on to open for me. What well, is an open mic? Don't, don't let me make this sound <laughs> you know, like like a big deal. This is I have my own little open mic, and I have Leroy there as the master of ceremonies with me, and I'm. I'm going, you think it's fair? This fucking no good $2 heifer fucking had my friend thrown it. And she was in the audience. She was one of like six people that came out to support me. She's like weeping in the back, the other female comic. And I was like, I am so sorry. I, just, I had no idea that you were here. I was just stunting for my friend. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Would you, know would you like Ian, to rebuttal? Done... Would you like to come up here? I've done that same exact thing. Sometimes you're a little saucy on the mushrooms. You say something <laughs> on a live stream. Next thing you know, you're getting DMs from a bitch. Did you? Were you talking about? And it's like, oh no, oh, oh I was caught. <laughs> no, you. Uh, uh, my experience is much worse. I, I can't do that. But there is a level of like, you know, I was just being entertaining, and I and I am. You were yeah. never meant to see this. Do you do you understand that? Like this was. Yeah. Yeah. This wasn't made for the general public. I had no idea you would be. Everyone liked it when I said it, though. <laughs> yeah, they're like, burn their down, kill that witch. Ian, did the, did the crying bitch come on stage and berate you and clap back? She came up and I helped her clap back. And, you know, Leroy was gracious enough. He was just, you know, he went with every punch and he was like, you goddamn right. Yeah, you know, I was like, we really tried to make her have fun to make up for what pieces of shit we had been. Uh, yeah. In a, as entertaining a way as we could. All right. Did, did you, uh, like when when did you realized she, she was in the audience, Ian, did you make this face that Baby Legs is making? And was your face as red <laughs> as his is? 
I said, you know what? This is retarded. I'm going to go. <laughs> I know this is my show. I know this is a make or break moment for me, but this is retarded. I'm out. I would like to draw attention to his pale hands and his red face. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're now gripping the chair for dear life. <laughs> yeah. His face looks like it's about to explode. Dude, I keep on wanting yeah. to go smoke, but this is too Boy, funny to leave the room for. Too funny. It's now, like an Ian, old RCA I will say commercial. That, that after this podcast came out, there were some reports that someone had looked into MLD, and it turns out since he's moved to Japan, he's been in some incidents that involve him getting into physical altercations with women. <laughs> oh, One shit. of those incidents includes hitting a woman over the head with a glass bottle while out at yeah. a club in Japan. <laughs> wow. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. <laughs> So yeah. this imagine the rage that he's back in America and he can't just clock this lady. <laughs> oh. and, and she's Asian. <laughs> Asians. Oh, you got it's just yeah. about this it's ironic, right? Uh, how how much violence he caused women in Japan? Really, the last that six days. Great. So oh, just say sorry. So just own no, up no, to being a piece of shit. Well, no, no. So I'm not. So first of all, I'm not a piece of shit. You don't so think don't that's a piece of like shit that. behavior? Oh. Okay. Don't talk to me like that. All right. <laughs> you can Secondly, that. all right. Annie, <laughs> I said what I said. I do what? think maybe you were 40 pounds overweight. Oh. So what's wrong with that? Oh. We can match each other's energy. All I had to say was you need to like own up to your shit because it's weird that you would I just face did. me. Yeah, after like pulling teeth, are you good? No, after you talking over me and freaking this trauma dumping the live on the show. I don't know what you said. I don't know what you said. And like you, you throw them onto me. But if I, if I acted the way you act, you would demonize me. If I literally attacked you the way you attacked me, if I said the things that's, that's disrespectful, you know, if another that. man said the shit that you said to me, oh, that's fighting words. But yet a woman says it to you, oh, she's being dramatic. She's masculine. She's emotional. But I I I, I've added another picture in, in show prep. If you want to cut from the girls to a live shot of him in the chair. <laughs> I probably got to go too, well, Ian. This one's let's... really funny. Thanks for okay, showing that well, video, man. Sounds good, Kenny. We're going to keep going. Uh, if you want, mm -hmm. Ian, we can just finish this up real quick because that's clip's yeah. almost over. Okay. All right, let's finish this. Say, and if yeah. you have the chat GPT, we'll do that. And then we'll, we'll call it a call it three months worth of podcasting. <laughs> I call you any of those where's things. the vein coming out of my neck that i'm so triggered right now that oh she's mad i think it's disgusting that you act the way it's so like unattractive and not manly but yet you sit here and shame women oh i can't wait to go back to japan i just think there again you're leading a bunch of cows to follow you and you're like yeah this is how men should act that's not how men in my family and in my life yeah, and it's so unattractive that you think that's normal so you are part yeah. of the problem in the west is what i'm basically okay. saying okay so let's try to put a silver lining <laughs> on this thing this came Fucking out of christ how should he be acted in your opinion we walked in the green room all you had to do was say hey no hard feelings i was just on the little juice a little bit i was tripping my bad i would have been like all right bro like all fairs were that's fine i would have dropped it but the fact that you walk in the room you don't address it you sit here it's like awkward i'm like this is how again you, people like you want women to submit awkward. to this garbage nonsense and you're well, women are not submissive why would i submit to that type of activity but again this is showbiz that's fine you're totally entitled to that I'll give you, uh, you know. I didn't even know who she is. Oh, she's entitled. When I was in the waiting room. That's the oh whole point. Oh my God. You, you are meant for the camera, my friend. You are something else. You don't know who she was when you were in the chat? No. What's up, everybody? Oh. This thing is fucking loaded oh, with ads. Based. Based. Guys on Steel Toe Radio, we would have checked a bit. <laughs> Imagine uh, okay. Aaron in this situation. <laughs> And then in the back room? No, it's okay. All right, well, how about this? Oh, my God. Is there anything you, you would like to yourself. take back Good or job. apologize? Whatever you want. No, not after okay. being treated like that? Absolutely not. I'm not going to be talked down no. to by, like, some child that has no decency to communicate with me in a respectful Can manner. You, it starts with you. What okay. man leads a relationship like that? You don't even She's have to be in right. a general space. All right, you guys, you guys are better than me. You win. Cool. Next, uh, next okay. question. Amazing. Please. She's anyway, not talking uh, down to you. She's you guys good? She's is, a uh... His skin is two different colors and his body is two different sizes. <laughs> He's a Batman villain. He is. Hey, you guys face. good? All right. I had like three more topics to get to, but I'm sitting in the middle of this like, holy shit. 
Uh, anyway, I hope you guys, at least after the show, can hug it Hi, out. Hi, so I also don't, I don't have a spine. <laughs> I, I'm not going to risk my my job and check these bitches. So uh, you're on your own, buddy. <laughs> that, that was a poor showing from you, and uh, I don't want to lose my job. So uh, let's course. defuse this. Let the air out of the balloon. Got a hard eyes. Eyes. Any looking books to my we left? You anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this last segment. This came out of nowhere. This is live TV, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't expect that happening. But I hope you guys genuinely can figure this out after the show. This is value feelings. I understand where you're at. I understand where you're at. Um, no, you're Natalia, no. final super chats. Let's get some, some winners and we'll go to the happy ending and we got to wrap up for today. Okay. So Hold that for a second. Through. You don't get to at the end of all of that go. I understand where you're coming from, where you don't want guys in the chat mowing at you. And I understand where you're coming from, mowing at her in the chat. I get both sides of the coin. You know, everybody made valuable points today. We're all friends here at the end of the day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You yeah, fucking demonstrable friend. coward. Go fuck yourself. Yeah. Uh, let's see where to start. Way. I'll start with the one on my screen right here. Being cheeks, I never subbed to Angela or MLD, but Angela got my vote for the for the rose. Typical red pill guys never take accountability for the same way. Only fans, girls in their future. Mm -hmm. uh, then we have this one. Being cheeks, Stop have whining. more enthusiasm reading the chat. I will. Uh, then we have full we Todd. Divorce is actually worse than average men. They end up lying um, in their cars and uh, sitting on earth for men of 40, self-destruction. Sorry, it was a little blurry when I took a picture. Uh, then we have uh, Redo. Uh, Hold on, Destiny. guys. Uh, as we're doing this, uh, production team, real quick, I know we're, we're wrapping up. MLD literally has to go. He's yeah. not walking off. No. He said at 6 o'clock he needed to, to a hard out at 6 o'clock <laughs> right now. Uh, MLD, final words before it's you run off. I don't want to go out like this. Anything you would like Move. to say before you do? I got nothing to say. <laughs> Move. See? My point. Are they reading Super Chats? Sorry, brother. Yes. What? Sorry. Of course, bro. Joey, let's make sure he gets out safe. Somebody now. comes out and picks up his, his child booster and he carries it off stage. Sissy <laughs> Pants there, the offended boy. Well, whatever you want, Joko. He literally has to go. He's not walking Hold off. On. I want to just, I want to mute it. I just want to catch him standing with his baby legs. <laughs> <laughs> Let's introduce a little toddler leg to the situation. <laughs> 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 toddler legs. <laughs> Now, when he's belt. standing, he actually looks like baby chest. There <laughs> 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 does seem to be some sort of illusion going on. <laughs> <laughs> a lot. He now <laughs> looks like he's like though, seven feet taller than all of these women. <laughs> <laughs> Even though he had a liposuction, his <laughs> belly is still there. Say, and I've his belly goes. Chicken legs, never baby legs. <laughs> if your lawyer looks like this, you're going to jail. <laughs> I, I love, you know, the polite thing would have to do would have been to like go to his right and kind of crawl off stage. <laughs> He's just pulling off his mic and strolling through the middle of the camera shot. I, I know you're reading super chats right now. I just, you know, I, I, I got an appointment with the Zohan. He's he's gonna take care of my hair. You know, kind of beta this guy is. He's What's a beta male, beta, beta, beta. I like how the guy made sure to alert everyone to the <laughs> to the to the smoke screen where he was like, hey guys, he's not leaving because of any other reason. He has to go right now. <laughs> Nobody okay. asked. He just he just offered that information. That's yeah, like we, a safety we, precaution. Yeah. Out of the blue. Little Cinderella. Uh, guys, we found the, the class of betas that are the uh red pill guys. Feta males, feta. That's their class. Males. Toddler males. <laughs> Toddler males. Toddler males. Toddler. Old baby Perfect. pants males. Hold on, hold on. Does, Toddler does, males. Well, does Rolo also have baby legs or he has different legs? Rolo toddler <laughs> male Tomasi? Worse. He has, he has those legs as well. <laughs> I've never I, seen the legs. I've never seen his legs. I've only seen uh, chest up on the podcast. Never legs. I, He's a total, he's, he's, he's Rolo creation. Hey guys, I'm Jonathan. And what we're about to show you is a, no. a year worth long of my body transformation as I underwent 
liposuction in March oh, 2nd man. of 2021. Is, is this Save Robbie's husband? It's all nice. Yeah, he looks very non-binary, doesn't he? <laughs> There's something about the pitch of his voice and the gestures of his hands where I, I feel like... What's this guy's name? Save Robbie from weight gain. <laughs> <laughs> what's his actual name? Is this MLD? That, that yeah. Jonathan. Jonathan is a gay guy. A gay guy. A gay guy. A gay guy. <laughs> a gay guy. <laughs> <laughs> and he dresses yeah. like a child. A child. A child. <laughs> Say Robbie is a gay dude, a gay dude, a gay dude, and he dresses like a child. In a woman's gap commercial, you're a gay dude. Oh my god, look how... Oh. oh yeah, look at the way the good news is You can take the audio out of that and be like, and then it'll be like Walmart soundtrack for like their beef market. <laughs> like, here at Walmart, we, we prepare our beef, you know? <laughs> We dye our meats. <laughs> That's uh, instead of wagyu, it's mango. <laughs> it sells for seventy five dollars an ounce. I'm selling my mango over here. Oh, uh, uh, Soul King. Perhaps you can speak to this weight gain. Just general weight gain, which is all he's getting from this. It's not like he's like ripped after this. He just you know has a smaller stomach. Is very manageable and easy to do. <laughs> like probably less time than he's going to spend recovering from this surgery. He Bro, could you're just 280 pounds. You can talk about weight gain too, nigga. <laughs> yeah, well, I used to be 300. <laughs> now I'm 250. It takes a couple dietary changes and, and light exercise, and it is very manageable, Jesse. Jesse, 10 push-ups a day, and you too could look like a normal human. M oh my god, I'm gonna vomit. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's fat that's a fat they removed from him he's about to you drink know, it all right back up <laughs> it's, it's i think they, they i don't know where he he might have done that but um, what i've noticed is that in the united states uh only four liters of fat is allowed to be removed from liposuction he said and it was three look, kilograms three that looks a lot more than three, sorry. I feel like um, that's not worth the surgery. Seven pounds. Uh, <laughs> of all the surgeries to get, wouldn't you rather staple your stomach and have like the permanent weight loss? Wouldn't you? And you know, they have these balloons, these uh, gastric no. balloons, that you don't even have to staple your stomach. You just use it for a, a certain period of time, and then, voila, you just take it off. And... You know, he could have just had 14 to 15 pounds of stuck poop removed, and that would have cleared him right out. <laughs> Damn, we totally, have. We, we totally. have to do to somebody. Emma would be great for him. Emma would have done miracles to that guy. <laughs> I mean, at least try it first before you go to the surgery. <laughs> at least try Emma. <laughs> He's going to walk up to Emma and be like, yo, I heard about your sister, 9 11. Fuck, dude. <laughs> was, there, was there like a fundraising thing where he's like, Hey guys, you know, Destiny's been making fun of my love handles. <laughs> and I really got <laughs> stun on him at the chat. So I need you to roll in some donos so I can get this totally chat surgery. But well, no, he has been flexing on people. He had with his parents so he could get the surgery. Yeah. He's been flexing on people on Twitter talking about how he rents Lambos when he goes out to uh, do podcast tours and writes them off as a business expense. And people are making fun of him because he doesn't really own the, the Lambos that he's taking pictures with, <laughs> which sounds very familiar. I do look at people like him and Rolo and it's like, why are you indulging in the fantasies of a child? <laughs> why are you stunting with things that would only be impressive to like a 14 year old? They do the exact same thing that an OnlyFans girl does when she buys like a fake mansion and takes pictures and makes videos in it. Like they're the same exact thing that they claim to hate. Imagine bragging yeah. about paying they to are. have conversations with people and then paying even more for the escort service that you have to go to said paid conversation because he's paying to go on those live streams and podcasts. No one in their fucking mind is just like, you know, just randomly Googling like, oh, modern life dating. Oh, fat spick nick. You know, he's going to tell me um, that I need to be a high bird value man. I should actually call him on my telephone, my landline, and tell him to get on my podcast. Like, that doesn't happen in real life world, you know?
where he has a clip channel Ian, and his videos on his clip channels get the same amount of views as apologies does so can, can we easily more than ours can we easily find a clip of him uh discussing like what a high value woman has to be if they want to get with him like is, it, is that broadly titled no. on his clip there's, channel there's some before, new stuff of we... him responding to some allegations there's actually a lot of videos on him oh, but Japanese. i didn't want to get into I... it all of all can of it I tonight explain what was my 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 biggest beef with this guy okay um, let's go for it aside so from the three kilos on, he just I got removed on, sorry i was on on instagram i had in on my instagram of course he was always disrespectful as he is he still is and then he made a comment about uh women getting implants that implants was that implants were gross for men. Like, but real boobs is the thing. Like, women should never have breast implants. And the plastic surgery is gross, and it's terrible. And look where he is right now. That the reason why I I totally disagree with him on that matter. And when he wrote that, I replied to him, "Oh, okay, fine." And then I simply forgot about him because I work with plastic surgery. I work with post-liposuction patients, you know? So, and, and that totally made no sense to me. And the main reason he didn't like plastic surgery was that he, at that time, was because it was the, the, the shortcut. Shortcut? Yeah. Is it correct? to say to to have this body instead of working out eating healthy food and there is the image of a massive hypocrite guy <clears throat> you know that was my beef with him yeah I and so i guess his argument would be like oh well girls are like adding like mass and stuff like they're like sculpting or whatever and all what yeah. he's doing and all what he's doing is just like draining or taking it out or whatever so he's not necessarily like you know totally trans that, that would be his argument but <clears throat> my counter to that is is like what's stopping him uh for him to get implants what's stopping him well what's you know because he's had his whole life to like lift weights and stuff and if he lifted consistently for like 10 years or something he would look okay now but it's not like he's going to start now and like build some kind of like work ethic and just start now so like what's stopping him to do that what's what's stopping him to get ab implants what's stopping him to get put like inject okay. synthol into his arms you know like people people do that you know and so it's like the next step is probably going you to know, be that. i bet i bet he has he might have like today there is penis enlargement with <laughs> with fillers and that's the guy that's gonna have that well i mean body dysmorphia is a motherfucker and it's like if yeah. you're already if you're already kind of okay with the thought of uh liposuction then the implants are coming now you know and it's like Nothing it will be awesome is if he actually got into injecting hormones like trt or testosterone and stuff and then it's like <clears throat> totally kill his uh hormone system and then he'll even he'll be he'll be even worse off you know like he'll be he'll I not think be able he to like... tried he tried hormones he tried trt and it didn't work for him <laughs> and he <clears throat> had like um he had he had the opposite effect he was you probably know? not he was probably just not lifting weights or he was probably just too <laughs> he was fat. not he was not he was, he's terrible he was just, mm. at lifting anything <clears throat> Yeah, or you know, he was I, probably too fat for like any kind of like muscles to show. It's like that's why skinny yeah. people look quote unquote muscular because you can see their actual insertions. You can see the, you know, muscle placement. Fat people, it's like, no, you got a layer of skin over that, but yeah, you know, eventually you have it's a gonna massive layer of fat too. <clears throat> you know, in so, his case. So, so that probably expo explains a lot, you know, like like why he kind of looks like a gay bag. I mean, um, you know, because because he can't uh, produce uh, testosterone naturally and stuff, and he's not doing anything else to like uh, boost no, his testosterone not. like to a normal level or whatever. How long is it till he looks like a bogging off? <laughs> this is too tight. Too, too tight. Okay, so which one should I wear? Uh, like the this one. 
And like this one or uh, no pants. No pants. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. No pants. And uh, uh, no jeep, huh? Skinny, okay. no skinny jeans. Right, right, right. Okay. I, I'm not yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Then okay. Bellin said yesterday that he hoped that the doctor was telling him, like, in general, like, for life advice, don't wear skinny, skinny jeans, not just, you know. <laughs> yeah, just just stay away from skinny jeans forever. Forever. And do you see the, do you see the difference from the fat on his back and neck, you know? I mean, I guess $10,000 or whatever is for slightly smaller love handles is worth it. Let's take a therapy. I was eating fish. I was eating the leafy green vegetables, not eating too many carbs and, you know, keeping a good head on my shoulders in regards to what I'm eating because <laughs> after going through that surgery. <laughs> it was freebasing soy and sucking cock and it was like, I just can't get these love handles to go away. Yeah, he says that towards the end. He goes, now, I want you guys to know that I haven't been following my diet. I've been cheating a bit <laughs> before he shows you the afters of the surgery. And it's like, what'd you get liposuction so surgery for if you just were going to keep eating pizza and ice cream? <laughs> Are you surprised he's not following his diet? That he didn't follow anything? That he threw it all to the trash? I'm not. <laughs> I, I think we've, we've kind of stumbled upon two different things here. Um, one of them is, is the, the hatred of women largely comes from a narcissism that doesn't allow you to value other people <laughs> because you are too important. And two, isn't it like a golden rule in all of pickup? And, and stop me if I'm wrong here, but women don't care what you look like. <laughs> you know, the whole point of the, the peacocking and the false bravado is like, you can look like anything. I mean, look at these fucking fetch slubs over here. <laughs> look at all the <laughs> pussy that they get. So aren't you undermining your own grift by being <laughs> by pushing plastic surgery and like well, actually you, yeah I don't know maybe it's like a AA thing when if you refer someone for liposuction surgery you get like a thousand dollars and so it's just the final final part of giving a dating consultation is to send them in for liposuction surgery. I, I do want to get ahead of this grift that Nico Robin brought up. So, Nico, what, what is the greatest transformation? And I'm asking for a friend that you've seen a penis go through. Imagine, <laughs> ima imagine, a, life, imagine a life coach bullying you into getting liposuction so you can get a referral <laughs> bonus. I, I haven't seen uh, this, uh, this procedure yet. I've seen uh, sex change surgeries, but the, the filler, I know that people do that a lot they they also do talk in both for <laughs> like a for facelift the <laughs> the yes and 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 they are also injecting fillers in uh, in the skin of the the penis to make it look bigger to increase the size what do you mean fillers like a 2018 with apologies episode or is that another thing where it's like you're manscaping, you know, your genital hair, you're ironing out your ball sack. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't even know what my penis looks like. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just <laughs> grab woman, put put in hole. <laughs> you know, I don't I don't need to. I don't take selfies of my dick like doing romantic poses by the beach. <laughs> you know, how much time are you spending looking at your dick? Yeah, that's crazy, right? And other people's dick because then you have to compare. If, you oh know, my god! You know, it, that's the thing. That's the thing I'm... you have to think about. Like, because if if people want other, if the guy wants a better look, looking penis, he might have looked at other people's, other men's penis, right? <clears throat> yeah, it's porn, dude. Maybe people are. You know, getting <laughs> about all this no, 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 no. This is this is some uh, Reddit Discord cup community <laughs> where a bunch <laughs> of guys who feel bad about their their tiny dicks get together and they're like, "Dude, yeah. have you seen this hog, <laughs> bro? I felt bad about my dick yesterday. Now I don't even want to be alive anymore." 
Well, there's like a world to E and else where instead of like, you know, giving out genuine information, they're like, get a bigger dick, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jim. Imagine yeah. if uh remember that guy that like <laughs> you had to you had to make like two hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year to even join his his manosphere. <laughs> Does anybody remember that guy? Oh, what is it? Richard Cooper's. Yeah, <laughs> he quit. You. He doesn't do it anymore. Yeah. Well, I believe he got busted for gay sex. But imagine <laughs> you're Richard Cooper. You pay all this money to meet him. <laughs> you come into the temple. He has you disrobe, and he goes, "You know, you just got to get a bigger dick." <laughs> <laughs> and here's the doctor that does that to you. <laughs> <laughs> Use my referral code. Yeah. Cooper's Cox. <laughs> Cooper's Cox. Oh, I, I, you know, I, I can see these guys doing that. In the blink Cooper's of an eye. has like a mechanics esque like vibe to it and stuff, so it lets people feel like they're still manly. You know, the guy <laughs> comes up to you like uh, wiping his hands with a rusty rag and a cigarette in his mouth. Like, mm-hmm, okay, I'm working with a four and a half inch. Okay, all right, we're gonna go ahead and you know, do a goddamn thing. <laughs> I'm gonna put a shark bite on it. I'm gonna go ahead and do a shark bite on it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my, I can't believe my ears. 